Did you know there is a serious shortage of truck drivers? And that is affecting roast, uh, restaurants and groceries too. Todd Spencer is with us, and he's the president of the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. Todd, can I explain why I think there's a shortage of truck drivers? It's because you can't find guys or people with clean records who can pass a drug test. That's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> some, some might characterize it like that, but a more, uh, a, a more beneficial reply would be simply because pay for truck drivers has been falling for three decades while the demands and the responsibilities of the job have been going exactly the opposite and you won't it will always be difficult to find people to do jobs that are hard that don't really pay much is that is that i mean you do take my point don't you i mean in the age where marijuana is legal in various states for recreational use in an age where drunk driving convictions have gone straight up over a long, long period of time, you're finding it difficult not to find guys and ladies to work at the right price, but those who are qualified to drive because you've got a liability problem. Those are issues, but those are generally issues that are handled at the recruiting end. And uh, again, there are plenty of people that enter the profession of truck driving every year. States issue over 400,000 new commercial driver licenses, the vast majority for truck drivers every year. What happens is those drivers go to work for companies, generally the big, large, publicly traded companies, and they get burned out. They get burned out sometimes in as few as a few months, sometimes six, but almost all of them within a year. 100% turnover is generally the norm for big, publicly traded companies. I could see how you'd have an age problem uh, older drivers retire, they're used to what, what goes on in, in the truck driving business. But maybe younger folks, not that interested in driving, you know, a thousand miles between destinations. Is, is age a factor as well? Well, certainly those that have been out there on the road that many, uh, the vast majority actually count their miles by the millions, safe miles. Younger people aren't as interested in moving into a profession, again, I said pay has been falling for three decades. Uh, adjusted pay for drivers is less, is actually less than half at what it was uh, three decades ago. And, you know, that trend really hasn't changed. The job comes with a requirement of for maybe forty to fifty thousand dollars a year in annual income, which isn't bad, but you couple that with work weeks that are 70 to 80 hours long, many of that, much of that time is spent sure. on the road, away from families, gone for weeks at a time, sometimes months. Those jobs are the kinds of jobs that uh, people will look to replace, and again, that's what's been going on. Look, I'm fascinated by what you just said. Uh, is this right, that the average adjusted income of a truck driver today is less than half what it was 30 years ago? Wow. Really? That's a absolutely, it is exactly that. So Plus what, the what is the have average gotten, adjusted? The job have gotten so much greater. What, what is the average adjusted income of a truck driver today? Department of Labor said in 2016 it was at $41,000. Some trucking companies have it a little higher than that. But again, bear in mind, you're talking about a work week that's sure. 70 to 80 hours long, but th that's, most of the time away from home. But that's less than it was, $41,000. That's, that's less than it was 30 years ago. They were making, well, they were making 80000 30 years ago and 40000 now. <laughs> I'm astonished. I am. They weren't really. making quite eighty, but again, comparing pay with the consumer price index, drivers would need to be making twice what they're getting paid right now. Again, just to keep up since 1980, and the reason for that is that there are after deregulation, many of the trucking companies became publicly traded. They grew rapidly, and they were interested in recruiting nothing but new people, people that they could pay by the mile and they could really, really work the heck out of them. And they've been very, very good at doing it, but it's kind of reached the point where drivers can't be more productive, yet pay continues. Shareholders want to see uh, greater productivity and lesser labor costs. 
and that's what they push for. And again, the big guys generally set the standard for all in trucking. Ironically, trucking is an industry that's 90% small business, but it's the big guy that create the economic conditions. And ironically, they're also the ones that lobby for more and more regulations that drivers generally hate. Yeah, I mean, the obvious answer is autonomous, self-driving trucks, which are coming down the pike. I know you're laughing, but that's the answer to the driver shortage. Well, I, well, certainly some point to that. Uh, that's a scary thought. Yeah. I mean, that truly is a scary thought. It's one thing if you're talking about a Google car that weighs maybe 2,000 pounds. When you're talking about a large truck that weighs 40 tons, it's a little bit different animal. Bear in mind, truckers operate in every kind of weather from the absolute worst, snow, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, and when, when actually when things go bad as far as weather goes, it's drivers that step up and actually bring relief supplies. They always have, and I don't see automation replacing that. Yeah. Sir, I want to say, I take my hat off to the truckers of this world. I think they're great people. They really are. Yeah. Todd Spencer, we appreciate you being with us this morning, sir. And straightening me out. I like Glad that. to be part of the show. <laughs> Thanks very much, sir. Good stuff.